Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a very common problem and a very important problem which you need to overcome to improve your English. Many of my subscribers, my friends ask me, I have written down the words, I have learned the words, I have collected and used those words also. Still, I am unable to improve my vocabulary. I am unable to use those words when I talk in English. So my dear friends, I have come up with this wonderful video. Watch this video and I can tell you, if you apply these tricks in your daily life, your English will improve. Your vocabulary will reach the next level. But before I start, I just want to tell you one thing. I have started another channel by the name Silbabu Shines. That is also an English channel, but something different. I want you to watch that channel also. You will get a lot of things. The link will be given in the description. Before we go to the main part, let me ask you a question. The question is that, can you make one sentence with the word discipline? Let me see how good is your English. Make a sentence and send it to me. I will reply to you. Let's start. One of the major problems English speakers have is that they forget the words when they need them. They are unable to use the words in the right time and hence they are unable to speak English fluently. In this video, I will give you a solution for that and that will be a permanent solution. And yes, if you are a book lover, if you love reading books, I have two books for you. These are the two books. It will help you to improve your English. If you want, you can buy the book. Link will be given in the description. As you said, that you are unable to use the words when you need them. For example, you are talking to someone and you want to express what's there in your mind. You know everything, but those words are not coming out. What happens in those, in those situations? That you are unable to express. You are unable to share what's there in your mind. And that is a very difficult situation. So friends, remember, this video is more about fluency. Because if your vocabulary is good, you will become fluent. Scientists say that whatever you learn, if you do not revise that, you will only remember 25% at the end of the day. So it is very important for you to revise again and again what you read or what you learn. A person with good vocabulary, a person who knows many words, they can use those words has many advantages. What are the advantage? Whatever they read, they will understand clearly. They are good communicators. And whatever movies they watch, it will be easy for them, for them to understand. At the end, they get more respect. And as a result, they are satisfied. So you want to be a good speaker, right? For that, you need to become a child once again. Why? I'm talking about a child. Because a child is curious every time. A kid learns thousand words because they are curious and they are hungry to learn. But as we grow up, the curiosity slowly dies. And by the age of 18, it just becomes nil. When I was in my college, I used, to, I used to see many students. They used to speak amazing English. They used to go through different books to learn vocabulary, to learn sentences. But as they get job, the hunt, the, or the hunger to learn stops there. Same in the case of government jobs. People prepare themselves. Day and night they study. Once they clear, once the exam is over, they just forget everything. Because they don't revise that. But in case of English, it's not like that. So what you can do? The best way to remember the words is to teach others. This is an amazing way. I also used to do that. Still now, I do that. Whatever I learn something, I go to my school and I teach my students. What happens? My brain gets the revision. And it becomes so easy for me to remember whatever I have learned. Again, don't memorize the meaning of the words. When you try to memorize something, there is a possibility that you forget. So try to imagine the word. Remember, words are ideas. Let me give you an example. The word shabby. Okay, you just learn this word. Now you try to keep it, keep this in mind by revising again and again. Shabby, 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 shabby. The meaning of the word. What does it mean? It means not well dressed. 
Now, instead of just revising, relate it with something by making an example, by creating an imagination in your mind. Try to imagine a person who is shabby, who is not well dressed. In this way, you can recall and remember, remember the word for a long time. Next, don't chase the words. Chase knowledge. Highly qualified people, what they do? They read books. We will see them. One quality is that they read books, they read newspapers. Whatever they get, they read. And that's how their vocabulary becomes stronger. It's like, don't put the cart before the horse. Put horse and then cart. Same way, put the knowledge before vocabulary. And the vocabulary will follow you. And yes, remember, if you want to remember the words, if you think that you will not forget, you need to revise the words. You need to use the words. So speak or write or listen. Our mind delete words that we don't use. So whenever you learn something new, make sure that you try to use that word in your daily conversations at least two to three times. That will help you keep it in your mind for a long time. Also, try to immerse yourself in English. Whatever you do, from reading to writing to speaking to listening to interacting with someone, just try to do that in English. Try this for, say, three, four months' time and automatically it will become a habit for you and it will become so easy for you to learn English faster. And finally, I would like to tell you, stay disciplined and be consistent. What we do, many of us, today is my friend's birthday. Let me skip today. Tomorrow I will do. Oh, I'm not feeling good today. Tomorrow I will practice. This will take away a lot of time for your li from your life. And at the end of a year, you will feel that you have not done anything. You have not learned anything. So figure out a place, figure out a time where you need to practice. And don't skip. Be disciplined and consistent. And you see how nicely you learn English. And when you learn English, people will respect you. So what do you think about this video? If you liked it, please share and subscribe. I wish you all the very best. Thank you.